Use clip colors to stay organized and edit faster in DaVinci Resolve. Right click a clip in the media pool, come to clip color and then select any of these colors. The thumbnail shows you if a clip color has been set. If you're in the list view, you can right click and tick clip color and you now get this column showing the colors. To clear a clip color, right click it, come to clip color and then choose clear. You can use these colors in any way you want. For example, we could set all of these Pocket 3 video files to the orange clip color and we can set all of these drone clips and now when we add a drone clip to the timeline, it's teal. And when we add a pocket three clip to the timeline, it's orange. If you've already added a clip to the timeline, you can right click the clip and choose clip color and then choose a color, let's say green. But this color only applies to this clip in this timeline. And you can see up here, it hasn't set the clip color at the media pool level. That means if I drag this same clip in a second time, it hasn't remembered the clip color. If a clip has had a color set in the media pool and you right click on it and change its clip color in a timeline, let's choose pink. It doesn't update it in the media pool. And if you right click on the same clip, come to clip color and choose clear color, it will revert back to the clip color that was set at the media pool level. Or if no clip color was set, it will revert back to this default color. If you've got clips in a timeline and you change the clip color at the media pool level, it will update in the timeline. Let's change this teal to lime and watch what happens down here. This clip gets updated to lime. Let's change that back to teal. If you've set a track level color by right clicking on the track header and choosing change track color, let's choose yellow. And then you add a clip in that has a clip color set, it will remember the clip color from the media pool. But if you add in a clip that doesn't have a clip color set, it will use the tracks color that's been set. So if I change this to pink, it updates the track color. You can also search by clip color in the media pool. All we need to do is open the search bar here, type in a color, let's say orange. Notice we don't get any clips found. That's because we have to change the filter by here. Scroll down and choose clip color. You can also do this from the root level. We don't get those orange clips showing up. That's because you have to come up to the search bar here and choose all bins to perform the search in all bins. Here's our orange clips and here's the teal clips. You can also filter by clip color when you're color grading. Click this button to turn on the clips and then click the drop down and choose a clip color to filter by. If we just wanted all of the drone shots that had the teal clip color set, we can set teal and now we can go and color grade just the drone shots. To show everything, click the drop down and choose all clips. Changing your playback speed while editing is another great way to edit faster in Resolve. Check out this video next to learn how to do it and I'll see you in the next one.